Fontra here for TopRank.com. I'm with Doug Fisher, boxing writer extraordinaire. So we're here at the Manny Pacquiao Juan Manuel Marquez press conference. You know, Doug, in 24 rounds of fighting between these two fighters, there is one point margin of victory between the two. It seems Juan Manuel Marquez has given Pacquiao the most trouble of anybody else. Why do you think that is? He knows how to fight southpaws, and he knows how to fight Manny Pacquiao, and Manny Pacquiao's aggression, just like Bob Arum said at, at, at the podium at today's press conference, Manny Pacquiao's natural inclination towards aggression plays right into Marquez's hands. Marquez is... He's, um, He's a very good mix of a cool, calculating counterpuncher and a warrior. He's the kind of guy who can it will take the punishment and pain that all fighters are going to absorb when they're in against Manny Pacquiao. He'll absorb that power and he'll fight back, but he's never reckless. He's always right there waiting for Manny, and he'll jab Manny. He knows how to jab a southpaw, and he just keeps that right hand cocked and ready, and whenever Manny Pacquiao makes his move, He's got that timing to catch him. So they complement each other very well. I think Pacquiao's edge in athleticism and overall talent and his, his edge in power, punching power, has enabled him to uh, you know, hold Marquez to a draw in the first round because Marquez won the majority of rounds in that featherweight bout. Um, and in the second uh, fight, the knockdown early in that fight was the difference in the fight. Um, as far as technique and craft style wise uh, perhaps Marquez is a superior fighter so uh, it evens out very well and as a matter of fact um, neither fighter is ahead of the other fighter on my personal scorecard I thought the first fight deserved to be a draw I scored at 113 113 and I thought the rematch was a draw as well I think I had that 114 114 so these guys are neck and neck as far as I'm concerned um, the only question even though Bob Aaron poo poos it to me is how well Marquez will perform at the higher weight. And I know Styles make fights, but, you know, Manny Pacquiao's the proven quantity at the higher weight, isn't he? Right, definitely. And since, you know, their last fight in 2008, you know, what, what kind of changes have you seen in these two fighters since then? What kind of growth have you seen that, that will make this third matchup just as exciting? Uh, well, I see more heart from Juan Manuel Marquez. I see somebody who's more willing to fight. I mean, since uh, their, their rematch, um, you know, Marquez, the very next year, he was in the fight of the year with uh, Juan Diaz. In uh, last year, he was in uh, a fight of the year candidate against Michael Katsidi. So, you know, at lightweight, as a lightweight champion, Marquez has become like an all-action fighter, uh, whereas uh, Pacquiao is more of a well-rounded fighter. I mean, he, he wins in exciting fashion, but he's winning on points more often than he's winning... Uh, in, in knockout because he's at the heavier weights, but he's become a more well-rounded fighter since moving up to 140 pounds and 147 pounds. He's not just, you know, I, I was watching a, a tape of their first fight. There it is, as a matter of fact, um, at featherweight, and, and all Pacquiao did was move methodically back and forth and throw a one-two. But he was squared up. He was eating every punch that, that Marquez threw. Well, he's not like that anymore. His body's at more at an angle, and he's moving around right. the fighter. He's not just jumping in and out of range. He can get in range and make guys miss. He gets under punches. He steps around. He works the body, and he's punching in combination. It's not just a jab straight left. It was all about the straight left a couple of years ago. Now he's got every punch in the book. He's got a great jab. He's got a, a right hook. He's got uppercuts. He's got body shots. He punches in combination. So he's a complete fighter now. So with the improvements that each of these fighters have made, who do you think has the bigger advantage? I have to go with Pacquiao. I mean, he's number one pound for pound for a reason. Uh, Marquez is right up there, but he's not number one. Um, he's had setbacks, um, you know, most notably against Floyd Mayweather. And I know Mayweather was a defensive fighter, but, you know, he's also struggled a bit. I mean, he's, he's um, he just turned 38 years old, and he struggled against uh, Juan Diaz, who's not in the talent level of a Manny Pacquiao, and he struggled and was even knocked down against Michael Katsidis in a lightweight title defense. And, uh, you know, Katsidis certainly not in the realm, not an elite fighter like a Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Manny Pacquiao right now is just in his prime. Um, he's looking like an all-time great. And, and, and as I alluded to earlier, he's the proven quantity at the higher weights. He's won titles at 140 pounds and 147 pounds. So I think he's the more proven fighter at welterweight. I, I favor Manny Pacquiao. All right. Well, then just to wrap some things up, being how entertaining the first two fights were and how close they were, and, and maybe after this third fight is said and done, where do you think that this trilogy is going to sit in, in boxing history when it's all said and done? Well, when it's all said and done, I think... It'll be a, known as a great three-fight series, but 
Manny Pacquiao will be the man with the edge in that three-fight series. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time here at TopRank.com. Thank you.